Comedy really was uh, my inspirations as of like Jamie Foxx. I love Jamie Foxx. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Um, the show *In Living Color* really well, opened my eyes to it. And uh, then after you know, I played football at UCF, I decided to go a different track. So you know, comedy was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be on stage. Wow. So you were in college, is what you were saying? I was majoring at UCF at with a. Uh, I was majoring in health, but I was I was playing college football at UCF. People don't know that. We don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you mentioned Jamie Jamie Fox. I like Cat Williams. I like Cat Williams. I like Steve Harvey. Even though Steve doesn't do a lot of stand up anymore, comedian wise or whatever, but I do have the opportunity to go back and look at a lot of things that he has um, he has completed already. Um, how does your parents feel about going from college to now, um, basically now you doing being a comedian? What do they think of it? Well, my father at first hated the idea. He hated the fact that, you know, I dropped out of college, you know, to pursue this comedy acting thing. He hated it. But, you know, now that he's, you know, seeing me, seeing me do my things to see how persistent and how much I want it, you know, he's definitely like, okay, if this is what you want, then it's time to go get it. So my father is that way. My, and my mom is the exact same way. She is very, she's very passionate, you know, for me. You know, she wants it just as bad as I want it. So my parents are, you know, very big on what I'm doing, my comedy thing. So those are like the best, the biggest, the most, the, my everything when it comes to my inspiration for comedy. So it sounds like you have a good support system. I got a great support system, and you know it's a blessing because most people can't say that. Right. I can definitely, I can definitely say that because I have, I have family. I have my mom come from, you know, my mom and my dad come all the way from Orlando you know, to come see me. So, you know, the fact that I have that, you know, I have that is just, you know, a blessing. It's wonderful. Who was the first person that made you feel as if you was just this? funny kind of guy and that light bulb just kind of like went off and you were like hey I think I'm going in the wrong direction oh uh, the first person okay the first person to really make me feel that way was uh my brother my brother uh and I actually live with him now in Jacksonville but my brother was the first person to really challenge me to get on stage really challenge me to say and he told me that you know you really are funny you know you need to you know pursue this and, and we just let it let it shine to the world or, you know, to the people that you're going to do your stand-up in front of. So he was the first person to really push me. And it was actually a bet. Like he bet he bet me. He bet me actually $10. He said, I bet you won't get on stage right now. And I got on stage. And, and it really just went from there. And I just loved it. And, you know, it's what I'm doing now. So it's it's great. I love it. So have you have you been on stage with anyone so far yet? Or has uh, it just no. been yourself? Maybe like you're opening up for someone or you've been on stage with someone? I haven't been on stage with uh, anyone yet. Anyone yet. But I'm actually working with Antoine, Antoine Murphy, you know, and he's in the Jacksonville area right now. He's doing the thing up, up at the comedy club. Me and him are working together on some things. So, you know, whenever, whenever he has a show, you know, I go with him and, you know, open up for him. So, that's really who I'm working with, you know, right now. It's 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 in the works. So, you know, Anton Murphy is, is definitely that guy. So would he be the person that if I asked you who you look up to, would he be that particular individual that you would speak on? 
as a, a big brother mentor type of person, yes, I have to say Antoine is definitely that type of person. Now, he teaches me everything and he shows me the ropes from, you know, just things to say or um, just giving me advice, you know, that a that a old school comedian or just somebody who's been doing it for a while would tell, you know, a young cat like me, you know, that, you know, you need to have, like, show some, show some top of your head at work all the time, you know, no matter what crowd, who you're doing it for, it's going to work. So, you know, Antoine is definitely my mentor. He's my guy. You know, he's big bro. I love that man. That's my man. So if anybody was interested in, you know, knowing a little more about you, um, seeing some of the things that you have going on, um, tell us where they can find you at on social media. You can definitely find me on social media on Instagram at I am Ace Williams. That's I am Ace Williams, and my YouTube is AC Williams. So those are my two platforms that you can find me at. And uh, so yeah, that's that's my social my social media right there. <laughs> so before we close this out, I just always ask like, what's popping? What's popping meaning that you want to, you know, express some things on how you feel about things that are not um, in place right now or you feel some type of way. For an example, um, you're a comedian. Um, hats off to you and all that you do. Um, you name Jamie Foxx, et cetera. But there's some things out there, like people may want to mimic a comedian. They may want to follow other comedians. Um, they may say they are comedian. Let's say they say they put that title on themselves, but they never been through any of the steps that a comedian has to take mm-hmm. to get where they need to be. What, 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 I mean, give me some things or some feedback that you feel about that in that what popping area. What's popping? Um, this is whole social media thing where everybody has to, you know, make it, you know, immediately, like, tomorrow overnight you know that's not that's not going to happen you know you got to go through especially as a comedian you got to go through the lumps you got to get booed off stage you know have you know chicken bones thrown at you you know (laughs) that's what you got to do in order to you know get comfortable you know if you go through that then you know okay well i had a chicken i had a whole thigh thrown at me so i know i know i can go anywhere and you know i could be confident because i done been through the work so that's definitely a big thing. Just uh, just get on stage and just do it. No matter what day it is, no matter how many people's there, just doing it. So that's big. There's a lot of things that's going on in the world. And tell me what are some things that you're looking at now that um, maybe you dislike that's going on out there right now. Okay, uh, two big things. Two big things that I really dislike that's going on in the world right now. One, you got the legend. My, you know, the ultimate, my dad's ultimate comedian, Bill Cosby is going to jail for rape. And it's messed up because you have people like Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, however you say his name, and, you know, uh, Donald Trump, and, you know, all these other people that nothing nothing has, has, has came from it. But, yeah, you got Bill Cosby going to jail for three to ten years. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. And another thing, which is kind of, I don't know what to say about it, but then you have Kanye West co-signing, wearing a Kaepernick shirt, but yet he got to make America <laughs> great again. I don't know what side he is on. I don't know. I don't know if I should clap for him or, you know, give him a little finger. I don't know. I'm, 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 confused. I'm so confused, Kanye. And then he, his name is Ye or Ye. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe his wife's putting him up to it. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing that out. <laughs> that could be possibly maybe what's happening, what's popping. So uh, those two things are just the most craziest things to me that's going on right now. <laughs> um, tell us what your schedule looks like so far. Even though you knew you're coming to the stage, you knew um, you putting yourself out there with two platforms on two different social media uh, pages, tell us what's coming up for you. What what Ace has coming up? Okay, uh, definitely, I got a show this Thursday at the Comedy Club on Beach Boulevard. If you're listening, you know everybody should be listening to this show. I want you to come out, you know, support. I can I can get you I can get you in. All you have to do is just go to my Instagram 
I am AC Williams and, you know, slide in my DMs, you know, and the first 10 people to slide in my DMs, we'll get a free ticket. So that's what I got going on so far. You know, that's my show Thursday. So come on out. Come on out. All right, Ace, I thank you so much for your time. This is your girl, Carla. What's popping? Bringing it to you from Power 904. I didn't love Beyonce. You know, like, it's even crazy when you have, like, thugs. I'm not even going to call them thugs. I'm going to call them foodie thugs. Because, like, they know, they know the, whole, the whole song. Like, they be singing your Beyonce, like, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, put your hands up, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? You <laughs> are fruity. <laughs> I'm talking about the whole song. It'd be like, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I thought you was a thug, man. I thought you was a blood. Hey, quick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on the blood. I still fight you, though. Yeah, you don't try me, bro. <laughs> quick, man. They don't play. You know, funny, but it's not too funny because like they'll like they'll really try to like they'll threaten you, like they'll threaten to kill you, but be crying at the same time, they emotional. <laughs> <laughs> like they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> they be like, hey, 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 man, don't don't you be talking about Beyonce, bro? Hey, you can talk about Jay all you want to, but you say one more thing about Beyonce, man, I swear to God. I swear to God. This is your girl Carla. Stay tuned to What's Popping on Power 904.